Bertram's back. You're welcome, ladies. Here's a sneak preview of the new animated show from Adam Carolla and The Daily Wire. Would you like me to help you get acclimated with the features of your new tool from U-Tool? What's to understand? Turn on, cut wood, dummy. Well, first, you need to talk to Aaliyah. Is that the chick with the aggressive piercings or the one with the pink cornrows? No, Aaliyah, A-L-I-A, Artificial Logarithmic Intelligent Assistant. This is a smart saw. This is a stupid store. Subscribe now at dailywire.com and tell a friend, Mr. Burgeum. Now back to the Adam Carolla Show. Eric Griffin hanging in. We'll do the news, and we'll do that right now. So there's this um, reclusive tribe in the Amazon. Mm, Ooh, I heard, heard about this. this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Elon, Elon Musk thought... I'm going to help these guys out. I'm going to give them Starlink. Which we is saw his... it in the masturbation newsletter, Eric and <laughs> right. I get. We yeah. sort of keep, keep tabs on guys beating off worldwide. Yeah. This, year, this year, I'm the keynote speaker at, yeah. the, uh, at the conference. Yeah, right. Jergens, friend or foe, they'll have some some op-ed pieces sometimes <laughs> down there. Uh, Strong community. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Never well, jack off with shampoo. There's yeah. There's tips. You know what I mean? And the actual publication can be used as a jack oh, rag yeah, yeah. when you're done with it. You can recycle it. Oh, in, you turn it over. No, the, la- the last page is just a, a, a paper towel. <laughs> the last page. Oh, well, yeah. It's got a knockout. And you, just, you put your dick in it, and you just go like this. Swipe. <laughs> no, it's got a knockout and a perforated uh, center. You put your dick through uh-huh. there. It's kind of lobster bibby. Oh, then it's fine. graduated like a bullseye. You know, and it'll just go go around. Mm-hmm. All right, if I sign up, I'll use your reference code. This is a oh, you sign this up, and I get three weeks uh, extra. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but you got to reference me. Yeah, yeah well. you got to use my code. This is mm-hmm. this is a leave, leave well enough alone situation. <laughs> mm-hmm. This right. is a just because you can doesn't mean you should <laughs> situation. Right. So that, for for those who don't know the story, uh, Brazil's two thousand member Marubo tribe got uh, Star Starlink service nine months ago. Internet. Service and this is a a tribe that yeah as I said reclusive but now after they got the internet um, the they are being torn apart by <laughs> social media and a huge pornography addiction according to the elders. Well, first off, Elon's smart enough that he had to see this one coming. <laughs> pardon the pun, Dawes or Byron, <laughs> you can find. I did a 1780s guy on internet porn, and it kind of it kind of explains it. I used to do these well, interstitials called 1780s okay, guy, all, but yeah, you're in some Amazon tribe that only has 2,000 people. It's slim pickings in there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if there is a hot chick there. She's taken immediately, right? Mm-hmm. So then you're on the internet now, and you don't even know that there are other types of women in the world, or Mm. men, or whatever, whatever you're into. Mm. You don't know that there's others, you know? Mm. And then, you know, you go to, like, you know, and you don't know that you could type in anything. Like, imagine if, you know, their their first thing was, like, you know, they probably just went, boobs. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, wow, what? Mm -hmm. Then it was just, you know, maybe they said, uh... (laughs) Cocks and boobs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then they saw that, and mm-hmm. then somebody was like, "Well, what about cocks and boobs and yogurt?" And then, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like you could whatever you put in on a porn site, it's going to come it's up. There. So, so what I'm saying is like, it's like, I mean, yeah, right. I agree. It's cr- it's like I'm well, not. Well, look, you they, know, they, it, this is it's inevitable. Yeah. All roads lead to porn. All, you know, <laughs> VR goggles were originally developed for astronauts yeah. or in simulators or whatever, but it turned everything goes to porn eventually. Okay, but Adam. Yes. You have the VR goggles. Mm-hmm. Is that enough for you? I think the real thing is you have the VR goggles and then you have to have some device mm. that's yeah. connected to your mm. dick. Yeah. I mean, that. then you're talking, you don't leave the house. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's got to be a thing that, like, you know, and then it's like you put it in, and it's not immediately on it, you know? Yeah. Because, like, whatever, well, you know, there's got to be, like, a thing. It's like a car wash. They have gaming. You know what I mean? Your dick goes through, like, a car wash thing where then, like, the... the, the <laughs> All the different... Yeah, the, the brushes come in, and then there's, like, a blowing Self cycle. <laughs> I like the hand wash ones, but do they... <laughs> <laughs> Look, they have gaming chairs, right? Boom. There's going to be a masturbation chair. The, 
This is what I'm saying. It's, it's someone in Japan I mean, is going at it right now. Any chair could be a masturbation chair. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I could. Yeah. As soon as you, as soon yeah, as I leave, I, I'm sure. I could turn an electric chair into a masturbation yeah, yeah, chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, any any lawn chair. No, but I'm saying any chair could be a gaming chair too. But there are gaming chairs. But what I'm saying, and is, I'm saying an actual chair for masturbation what that had saying, everything built into it. What I'm saying is like technology is at a point now. Why are we half ass into technology? What are we talking about right now? Like it's like, you know, I think there's this sort of like thing in society like cuz if you ever see like these new the new robots they're making, the, doll, the like the sex dolls that they're making now, the way they're making them look like real people like you know, it's like why are we half assing? Like let's let's <laughs> What are we doing? Well, like, they're making them look like real people. I know, but it's like, I feel like they could have done that, but they're like inching it out because they want to see how people feel about it. It's the same thing with the VR glasses with the like, yeah, this is for porn. Yeah. Right. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, of course, okay. This doesn't need to be gradual. We, we, we are, what are we gradu- perfectly capable. Yeah we're, <laughs> yeah, we're perfectly capable of being like, all right, I would like to, see, like, you know, you put the porn, because they already I'm, had that I'm POV saying, I porn. had that speech where I went, look, we're all mature adults here who want to <laughs> fuck robots. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's not judge. Yeah. Uh, do we have uh, that? Let's see. Do we have 1780s? That? Do we have that 1780s guy? It's got to be there somewhere. Well, if you do, well, you can so put it on my screen. This begs the question. Was humanity, like, has this ruined humanity? Because we're seeing what it did to perfectly pure tribe it, getting it, the internet. This is out of context. <laughs> 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 women I mean, women better be looking over their shoulders. That's all I'm saying. Because once that technology is perfected, there's going to be a lot more single dudes living with their robots. That's that's what well, I, think. I, I yeah, well, you know, I, I don't not until the AI is and that cause, they're, they're going to say the, women are going to go yeah but what about the conversation I'm going to go exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah strike two <laughs> but imagine imagine Jeez. combining the AI where like now you you're programming this thing yourself like make me feel special today like you know uh, you know uh, I don't know I, I don't know if it's going to take away from I think it's just going to be like this is just an enhanced sex toy. They're already listen. The numbers, the test, uh, the sperm count is down. Guys aren't getting laid as much. Guys aren't going out and hooking up as much. Guys are already staying home and uh, pulling the taffy. Yeah. You know, it's already yeah. slowed everyone's roll. All right, what? Uh, but What's anyway, it? Elon should have saw this one coming, or or maybe this was part of his plan. Yeah, some maybe kind of experiment to show. Mm-hmm. We will. Yeah. Uh, well, well, initially they used it for good. They're like, oh, you can contact emergency service quickly. Here's how you heal a snake bite. Right. But, but anything that is used for good can be used for evil. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's a gun. Everything is like, yeah, dude. <laughs> everything is like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, how do you heal a, a, a wound? Um, how do you pound a fucking <laughs> butthole? <laughs> what sort of, you know what I mean? It's all the same. All the right. same information is there. This is the internet. I think this is 17. Well, it's it's self-explanatory is what it is. And now, Adam explains to 1780s guy, the Internet. So an endless array of nubile beauties appear in this magic box? And you have one of these in your home? Yeah. Make haste! (laughs) (laughs) That was Adam explains the Internet. 1780s guy. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's just, that's what it that's is. That's how guys would react. You know, you'd be like, hey, can I, uh, like, even if you think about, like, oh, oh here's the one, man. Hmm. You know, they, you know, you know how you can, like, now they have these things where you can, like, just type in what you want to see and it shows it to you, right? So they've been putting a damper on, like, you, you, you can't do porn. Like, right. you can't, but now they're saying, well, maybe, maybe we should let that happen too. There's a company, I saw an article about that, you know, like, because that's what you would do. Like, if you're like, you know, now you'd be able to be like, just think of the depravity in your head of what you would want to see, and they could just put that on the screen for you? Whatever There's you a, of. some, what, I, saw, I saw a clip, somebody tweeted me, or I don't know where I saw it, I don't know if they tweeted, I saw it on Twitter, but I don't know if they gave it to me, but it, it was a clip of Charles Bronson interviewing some young man about being like a sex addict, and from a movie, and I thought it was doctored or cooked or whatever. He pulled like a suction cup with a jug on the bottom of it and a, and a 
and, and stir stick and stuff and said, is this what you've been using? And it looked like somebody cut Doc- it, like doctored it, but he they didn't. And it's the weirdest thing ever. And I don't know what Charles Bronson movie it's from. Hmm. I don't know how to find it. Maybe you guys can look for it. It was... Um, can you remember Death Wish? Yeah, I don't... It couldn't have been from Death Wish. It's, I don't know. Charles Bronson... Uh, uh, what would you call that? Uh, e- e- interviews pervert. Let's say and try that. Let them let them let them do that. See, see but that hey, by the up. way, that's what you're going to be able to do. You're going to be able to say Charles Bronson interviews pervert, and the AI will just right. <laughs> yeah, they'll make it. All right, you get your next story. All right, so always look looking that. that up. Um, so our sixth street bridge here in LA. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, I mean, we, your this, is, this is another reason, reason like, another more proof why we can't have nice things, right? Okay, like we happened? can't have nice things. The, the 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 thing I love about that is the artist rendition <laughs> before they build the bridge. They do the rendering. You know the bridge we're talking about? No, which bridge is that? It's it's a it's a new bridge opened in 2022. It's it's um, Sixth Street, and it has like the big arches as it goes as it goes across. I mean you. I don't know, we'll is it downtown, right? Yeah, downtown. Oh, so or, I don't go downtown a lot. So yeah, it's not me my neither. Thing. I've never been on yeah. it. I just see yeah. what goes on. Right. So I mean, it, it made the news because, like, right when they opened it, people were have like doing um, street takeovers. Street takeovers, doing the burnouts. You say people. Let's <laughs> choose. Or take <laughs> hey, the, thank in you. Asians, thank mainly, you for being clear. Are out there doing donuts in their dodges and climbing and it, and I think some even fell and died. Like oh, social oh, media, so they're getting. Thing. Okay. They're doing like this. They're basically just doing whatever they wanted on this bridge. It was chaos. So what do we have? What's so happening? now, um, the bridge. Or every once in a while, the bridge doesn't have lights. Like it, it's very dark when you're driving at during night, and the reason. That it's uh it's so dark is because copper thieves have been hitting the bridge again and again, stripping like seven miles of wiring, leaving much of the structure in the dark. Right. So it's just a hot but spot for copper. It's what you said. We can't have nice things anymore. We're such we have turned into such animals in Los Angeles and the DA and the cops and all the defund the police thing. We formed a task force. We're just <laughs> fucking nuts now. We we're stealing fire hydrants. Like really, we yes, yeah, we've gone <laughs> down to elements of life. Like they're stealing stuff off the periodic table of <laughs> elements. Like we're stealing resources, like rock. We, we, someone it's I saw someone line. running with, with <laughs> I saw someone running with a chunk of coal the other day, right. like just down the street, just running down the street yeah. with coal and ore. This guy's like, Is that magnesium? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It means your society has degraded to the point where we're uh. well beyond. So this, but the thing you have to find on the Sixth Street Bridge is the uh, the artist rendering of when they're selling it to the city. They're going here's well, we'll run the what's going on on the Sixth Street Bridge and whatever. Copper thieves, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, who would even know to do that? That seems like a high profile thief. That ain't no regular. These copper thieves are good. They're, that ain't good. No they're crafty. Shit, they're man. stealing hydro. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. they're stealing. They're at, these people at Nobu. The LA landmark still in the dark. Almost six months after thieves stole nearly seven miles worth of copper wiring that illuminated the Sixth Street Bridge. They're in fact they're waiting for us to repair them. They want us to repair them because every light post to them is an ATM machine. It's pure cash. So when we go and repair, what do they do? They go and they steal again. Council member Kevin DeLeon helped create a task force to crack down on the copper wire thefts plaguing the city. More than 6,000 incidents were reported citywide last year. Repairs exceeding $17 million. The task force also working on ways to prevent a costly repeat of the crime along the famous bridge since repairs there are expected to top $2 million. We need to come up with creative ways to reinforce. Creative ways. Fucking the, shoot the, the next metals, guy who does it, the and then they stop. You don't need creative the, ways. And safeguard the wires so thieves can't just walk up. The picturesque bridge has been besieged with problems since its unveiling. So there's the street takeovers. Including Cars. massive street takeovers and people climbing the arches for photo shoots. Yeah. All right, now we need the artist's rendering of what 
it was supposed to look like, because that's the part that cracks me up oh, let's see. the most. There is the artist rendering, and that's guys selling hot dogs and balloons <laughs> and people strolling oh, underneath it in a beautiful, in beautiful park. Well, this is what this is how they sell it to you. They go, here's what it's going to be, but here's how it turns out, and we cannot have nice things in L.A. We're, we're stealing uh, catalytic converters. Yeah. We're stealing copper wire. We're stealing anything what, what aluminum. Are do- what are they doing with it? They're using the raw. They're using the raw materials. This isn't. This is one of the off. Find one uh, with people. You got to find one with. Uh, oh sorry, wow. The one that sounds like. That looks great. As I was describing the uh, like, there's, we've looked at it before. So it's people walking around and balloons and and stuff like that. Yeah. We can't, but also here's the thing: we have to enforce laws, everybody. We can't just let all the fucking gangbangers run run wild. Well, wait, 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 wait. Still not First the one. All, I don't, but not bad, but better. Whoever's in charge of stealing seven miles of copper wire off this, it ain't it ain't the Crips. <laughs> no, no. What I, I think okay. what's like this, 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 this is a white collar crime right here. No, no, no. Okay. This is this is probably. Uh, Mexican cartel shit. I think this is cartel stuff. Really? For, for what, what, what? What is the purpose? What do they do with it? I'm curious. Well, I don't know what they do with um, catalytic converters, but they have some value, and they enlist young poor people to just go get it. No, no, and no. Bring no I, get the, I get the I get the I get the 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 actual hammer. Okay, I get the, the but whoever's in charge of like getting this stuff they're doing something with it what are they doing yeah they're selling it i know but selling it to whom for what they're selling it to guys who probably deal with the, like like the version of a pawn shop where they kind of know that guitar was stolen <laughs> but they'd give you 200 bucks for it anyway yeah, yeah. cuz it's worth 700 bucks yeah they, they're dealing with the look the other way People, I guess I, that mm. just to me is like that seems like such a specific thing to like somebody was like, hey, we should steal this copper. Somebody has to know the value of copper, and there has yeah. to be a copper market. What is well, the copper is a, market? The copper market's like you know forty four dollars a pound or something like that. Oh, wow. You know, it's it's a trade. It's a commodity. So when you that probably ends up at IKEA. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> this is artist drawing. Maybe yeah. rendering isn't isn't right. We saw a drawing. If you go into Google, you go to images, right? I guess you guys know this, but you know, yeah, you just go into images. And... Any uh, Charles Bronson luck? Let's see. Well, how do I describe that? Charles Bronson interrogates a pervert. But what would you call a machine that's sex machine? Just say sex toy. Charles Bronson pervert sex toy interview okay all right see if that uh comes up all right and Um, that artist running well anyway the one we saw before we showed it on the show before was just people walking and strolling and vendors and (laughs) it's peaceful but i'm saying it's the opposite of sodom and gomorrah which the bridge is like what are are we gonna do you know well what you're gonna do is you gotta put fucking cops there and they have to fucking bust people who do shit like i was he said, he's like, oh, you know, we put it back and they just steal it again. Yeah, but what about like webcams and like, you know, you know, they have all these high tech equipment where you can see people's faces. We don't care who people are because we're not arresting anyone anymore. We've decided like, like, in, Cal- in L.A. and in California uh, that we're not going to be tough on criminals. So but, criminals but if go, you have like it. Nest, you know, you have a Nest cam, mm-hmm. you, get a, you get a notification. Uh, oh, there's movement. Why don't they have that kind of shit connected right to the cops? Yeah, but here's the part you're missing. You can get an S cam of somebody stealing your computer and call the cops. Yeah. You think they're going to do anything? I know, but what I'm saying is, why don't the cops just have nest cams? <laughs> they're not interested in <laughs> the, on the, they're on not, the stuff. They're not, them seeing it doesn't prevent it. They're not going to do anything about it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, see, I just got a nest cam interview right <laughs> Check your copper. All right. Uh, um, so are you guys worried? Like you talked about the leaf blowers yesterday and how we're just breathing in all these particles that mm-hmm. are staining our lungs. Well, what, what about microplastics? Are you guys worried about what, Not what's good, happening? Not good, and part of why testosterone or the sperm count is down. That's exactly right. Talking so to a lot of people. Microplastic pollution has been found in all human semen samples tested in a study. Yeah. And researchers Jesus. say further research on the potential harm to reproduction is imperative. No, I know, because I shorted out my robot the other day because it wasn't <laughs> built for that much microplastic. <laughs> you know what I mean? And 
so and dumb. I, and like, I, <laughs> no, but I was like, like, there should be a scanner in the robots. Once you bust in it, it goes, goes do, 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 you need to change your diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your heart rates up. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, well, okay, that'd be, that's like a trick. But if that, that's how your wife gets you to like, you know, oh, work out well, and wait like, a minute. eat properly. The She's dystopian like, <laughs> future is like at some point you're eating a pulled pork sandwich and your sex robot turns the corner and goes, how about some jicama instead, <laughs> oh, fat no. guy? And you're like, what? Uh, is... You're just programmed for pleasure. <laughs> oh, no. Put the sandwich down. <laughs> you're this like, is... you're like, off, off, off. off. <laughs> this is the end of the Twilight Zone episode. That's right. Yeah. Sex robots. Mm-hmm. They just, yeah. <laughs> You want a micro pack, you know, I, I started to get into finding out about this stuff because when you have a kid, it, make, it opens up your whole world of like what's safe and what's not. And it's mm-hmm. almost like you're like, God, do we even need to know this? I was telling my wife gets water bottles all the time. And I'm like, babe, you got to stop. We got to stop this. Oh, listen, women do not drink tap water and they don't. They, everything's in everything's in a. I, so get. Are you in a house? No, we have a townhouse. All right. Get a whole house filter. Filter system, yeah, yeah. Filter yeah. everything that comes in yeah. and then just drink it right out of the sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. stop dealing with the bottles. They and not only the bottles stuff. of the landfill and yeah. all that stuff. I mean, is it even avoidable? Uh, well, Today, what, yes. no, what it, what it is is, okay, first things first. I've said this a million times. Everything you buy, ketchup, mayonnaise, every accoutrement, get in a glass jar. It's always better. It's a higher quality. People get shit in like squeeze bottles and Tubes. think it's good shit. You know what I mean? It's always cheap I, you junk. Know, so, is, you know, yeah, it, there's something about you know. I, you know what? I make exception for the mustard. You're yeah, right. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> But Nobody get, wants to spoon mustard. <laughs> Deal no, with mustard, you got to put a line. It's got to be like well, Coke, man. There's great poop all. Yeah, you got to draw a line on one of those change tables <laughs> yeah. at the McCarran Airport. I Full caught, circle. I caught Eric doing some mustard rails at the bathroom at McCarran at the Southwest. Like, yeah, man. You know, there's certain things that you like. You just want to like. Like, I used to love the peanut butter and jelly where there was peanut butter and jelly in the, in same. the same jar. Oh. And you would just squeeze it onto the thing. That was good shit. <laughs> that stuff Time was called I don't know not Kugel or, but there's a different name for it yeah yeah so, it's a, so I get what you're saying but it's like you know what are we gonna know remember way back in the day when gas was like you know 15 cents a gallon or something like that or like it was like a crazy like crazy cheap and they didn't know we just don't know like they, somebody did, somebody tested the microplastics recently but this is something they probably could have done a long time ago and then these companies were like yeah but glass is expensive yeah. well <laughs> glass is expensive it breaks it and breaks it's, and it's heavy yeah it's so heavy to ship. ship right so then somebody made a choice and so now like you know we've ruined society and then you know what are they going to say my bad. Right. Well, like it's, it's, it's like not only found in a bunch of semen, but also breast milk, placentas. Like so, it's, it's really the, the future generations. How about baby food? Just look up baby food right now. Uh, like the baby, the baby you're formula. Me well, the the baby formula bro. thing, dude. It's like it's bananas right now. There's so much about baby formula that, that, that you have to go. You have to go to Germany to like <laughs> it, you, it, all the foods and stuff that we have here. The fact that other countries have banned. All the ingredients. Yeah, not a good what sign. What the fuck for us. are we talking about? It's, it's so now you got to. I got to order fucking. For, my wife's breastfeeding, which is great because now when we when we start to get off that, we got to get our shit from some like you know farm in Germany because they're not polluting it with chemicals. I think I saw her at the McCarran Airport when I was trying <laughs> to rub go. one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told her, you know, I I wasn't rude, but I should wrap it After up. After you, <laughs> like I got next. You put a quarter yeah. down on the door. Yeah. Like, Can you move your coke? I'm trying to change my baby. All right, do we find Charles? What I want to know how the internet works. Are you, what are we putting in, Byron, for uh, Charles Bronson? Let's see. What have you typed in? I want to know what. Let me just go on my what phone. could possibly come up? You got something? I typed in interviews pervert, interrogates pervert, and the closest thing I've gotten is him uh, uh, vice gripping a pervert. Mm, but his, you're, his you're doing Charles Bronson. Charles first. Bronson, and the first thing we got was the movie with Tom Hardy playing Charles Bronson, getting uh, uh, talked to by a pedophile. So close-ish. Uh, what about Charles Bronson interrogates? Maybe they took it down. Sex toy. I don't know. Somebody tweeted Where me. Where did you I, see it? I think I think it was Bill Simmons put it put it out. Um, Just then, then, then look up Bill Simmons. Yeah, I, look up Bill Simmons, I Charles Bronson. 
<clears throat> look up Bill Simmons, Charles Bronson, He's, and I think he it was under his uh, podcast uh, Rewatchables. I think that's is it, that's ten, what it was. ten till midnight? Is that the movie? Well, that's yeah. There he is. Okay, I know. How do you it. find it? I well, I didn't find the exact scene. I just uh, oh, yeah, you did. That's the guy. Well, it's the guy, but it's I don't I I don't it's. Yeah, he's interviewing. Is it just then? a guy videotaping uh, his TV? So I don't know if I don't know what the well, clip you is. You don't see him shaking around a sex toy. I do, but I don't. I can't hear it, so I don't. Oh, well, I don't you know found it. the scene. Or I'll, I mean, I'll send it to you, but unless there are multiple scenes that way. But why do you find it? That's that's that my question about the internet. Oh, there it is. There it is. This is the last time you watch this, Eric. That's nice. When's the last time you made it with a girl, Juan? That's not nice. Last week, last month, last year. I refuse to answer. Never. You never made it with a girl because girls won't have anything to do with you, but you get back at them, don't you? Betty and Karen and God knows how many more. I won't listen to your filth. I won't listen to you. Yes, Warren. Warren, do you recognize this? <laughs> What's that? Have you ever seen one of these before? What's it used for? What's the matter? Cut your tongue? It's for jacking off, isn't it? <laughs> wow. And these pictures, you recognize the girls on the pictures, Warren? Look at them. Look at them, Warren. Look at them. Warren. <laughs> 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 this is the craziest scene. Wait, All right, he pulls this, out this a, a pilot. He pulls out a dust buster yeah. with a <laughs> pocket pussy yeah. glued to the top of it. Yeah. yeah, this is a this is a pilot for a bad show that didn't get picked up. That's Ten to midnight is. was it? Ten from till the, midnight. The movie. Oh, now, movie how do movie? you find it so fast? I, he found, I just I just googled. I mean, I I went into Twitter and searched Twitter. Oh. I find things faster on Twitter than Google. Oh, okay, wow. how would you find it, Byron? I, Emmy helped. It's a teamwork. It's a team What'd you here. Google what in? A, what, what a crack Emmy staff Googling. back there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, Emmy I don't know. No how, comment. I don't know how the internet works because I want to know what Emmy Googled because I want to know how the internet works because I can't figure um, it out because this is an insane thing. This should be everywhere. He said the rewatchables Twitter. Oh, okay. Well, that's well, I, it's Emmy's homepage. That. You know what? I actually use. I like to use AI for searching now, like Gemini, the Google AI. Is this a prop they made? Yeah, dude. You don't think it existed in 1978? Dude, this is like this is one of this is the that was the worst acting I've ever seen. I can't believe that that made That's it. That's a feature. That can't that even was in believe theater. I can't even believe it. And what that is, is this is so terrible. And you know what? Save this speech because your next feature <laughs> <laughs> when they go we're bringing it straight <laughs> to paper. We're, we're not now it's not going to be in oh, theaters. Man. You're going to go my <laughs> this isn't in theaters. If you've seen Ten to Midnight with oh, Charles for, Bronson, for real, I would say let me be mediocre on Netflix. <laughs> you know what I mean? I gotta watch it one. We gotta watch it one more time. We should. You know what we should do? This hmm. is what we should do. This is, this is what I'm calling for right now. I'm saying, Adam and I, we come in here and we do a watch party of this movie. That's good. <laughs> but I think they already did it. All right, we'll play it again. <laughs> When's the last time you made it with a girl, Juan? That's not nice. Last week, last month, last year. I, I refuse to answer. Never. You never made it with a girl because girls won't have anything to do with you, but you get back at them, don't you? Betty and Karen and God knows how many more. Veronica. I won't listen to your filth. I won't listen to you. Yes, Warren, Warren, do you recognize this? Leo, What's that, Warren? Off. You ever see one of these before? <laughs> What's it used for? What's the matter? Cut, cut your tongue? It's for jacking off, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and these pictures, you recognize the girls on the pictures, Warren? Look at them. Look at them, Warren. Look at them. Warren. <laughs> Stop. Let me hold it. All right. Now here's here's my this is how you know how like, this is old school. <laughs> okay. this, is like, this you know this is old school because they think that handsome young man. Can't get girls. I know they shouldn't have hired a guy with Matt and It should have been you luck. or me. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> thanks. I mean, what? <laughs> get Truman Capote's brother. All right. Uh, now that we found that, I can rest. Yeah. Okay. Eric Griffin is his name. Yes, guys. Comedy is. I don't game. know when this, this comes out tomorrow. I'll be in Greensboro, North Carolina, this weekend. So, guys, come check me out. The Greensboro Comedy Zone. Mm. I got other stuff going on, but you know, I've been doing a lot of acting and directing and stuff like that so i'm not doing as much stand-up but when you do want to see it it's at airgriffin.com that's what i was about to say for me uh vegas i'll be there uh, tonight 
over at Kimmel's Club. Oh, wow. Josh Wolf and uh, Michael Yo be on stage. We'll do a live pod there at 7.30, and then we'll do a, I'll do a stand-up show at 9.30. After that, you just go to amcrolla.com. Levittown, New York, Governor's going to be there doing stand-up June 28th, 29th. Just go to amcrolla.com for all the live shows. Until next time, Amcroll for Eric Griffin and Chris Max Pat is saying, Peace. Mahalo. Peace.